Every night, Pinky. Try to take over the. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Well, obviously, you see, we have a new setting. A lot of things has happened since the last video that I have uh, made, and we're up in a new place. Uh, all I can say is that God has been good and he has blessed me since the storm and I'm up in my new apartment and I'm happy. I mean, I don't know what more I can say is that I'm very, very ecstatic and just glad that I'm able to come back to you guys with a video in my new place. But I don't want to dwell on that too long or brag about anything other than to say that I am very, very appreciative. But now I probably won't have to use the green screen. But if you guys prefer having the green screen, maybe we can figure something out. But hey, what I need to be embarrassed about. Like I said, if you see the kitchen in the background, it's like an open concept. Like I said, I don't have no problem showing you guys what I'm working with. But anyways, to our wine. This is October, the month of my birthday. And also Halloween. This will be a Halloween special wine. This is going to be part two of part one because I have two different wines that I'm doing for a Halloween special. The one that I'm working on now that I'll tell you about up in this video will be cotton candy wine. Now, I know y'all saying, how in the world are we gonna make a cotton candy wine? Everybody kept asking me, hey, Tarzell, do you think that you can make a cotton candy wine. And I was like, from what? And they said, well, you know they have the cotton candy grapes. And I said, yes, true. I love these grapes. But they do have different varieties of these grapes, guys. The brand that I have in front of you now, which I'm about to zoom in, is the Carnival Style. And guys, these grapes are so so good they so sweet and they taste just like cotton candy i'm dead serious just like cotton candy so i was thinking like i said for a halloween special why not do cotton candy wine you know trick-or-treat thinking about candy you know all that good stuff and since so many people had asked me about this specific kind of wine or grape also i said well let me try not to mention that I don't normally make a lot of great wines and actually it was only one time since I have made wine that I use grapes. This will be the first time in like a couple of years, actually this 2021, since 2018 that I use actual grapes in making a wine. So we are about to make this wine now. With that being said, let me see. I'm just looking around, guys. With that being said, this is gonna be a first time for me 
to one make this style of wine and two use the grapes to make this wine so I figured for this recipe I would use five pounds of the berries to make this it's not going to be super concentrated but we'll see how the must ta uh, taste and come out but I could have went ahead and bought 20 pounds of grapes to potentially make about a gallon of juice from the concentrate after you know I crushed the grapes up and everything but uh, these grapes run for about four dollars uh four i say about four or five dollars roughly per a pound per a pound so you can do the math on this guys so i was like i will just use my water to uh, make the difference up of the actual grape juice from when i crushed the grapes up and also for our acidity and tannin, I'll go into that as soon as I get to it. Uh, also, since I will be using uh, the limited amount of grapes, I'm trying to figure out what container, or like I said, fermentation container I wanna go with. Uh, as you guys see right here in the back, we have a wide mouth or a big mouth, whatever you guys call it. And I have also another glass fermenter. These two supposed to be a uh, gallon. It just don't seem like they gallon uh, fermenters, but hey, that's what the brew shop said. So that's what we have and that's what we possibly will go with. I do have a bucket in a sink. That's a two gallon bucket. I was thinking about possibly fermenting the grapes up in there, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, what we do when I get to that step. But like I said, this was my inspiration for this part of the Halloween special. And like I said, I'm about to tell you what we're using for this one. And it will be five pounds of the Carnival brand cotton candy grapes, two pounds of sugar, one lemon that we will be using for acid, the juice. Uh, we'll be using our black tea for the tannin. And we will be using Lauvin D47 today. Uh, I was told that the Lauvin uh, D47 help with uh, fruitiness. Uh, like uh, I guess the guy told me fruity esters in wine. And like I told you, I'm not just stuck on using Lauvin EC1118 yeast. I'm more than willing to try different yeasts. That's no problem for me, guys, because everything is experimenting. Everything is trying stuff, you know, just giving things a different try or whatever. So we will be also using a hydrometer as far as the equipment. And like I said, uh, the airlock that's sitting over there with the bone, but we'll figure out the equipment, like I said, as far as what we can use. But just keep in mind, like I used to tell y'all, you can use different things. It doesn't matter which one I go with. I'm just trying to see what I feel comfortable with. But let's go ahead and get into this process. Thank you. <laughs> 